Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today I'll show you how to automatically set up night vision and light sources using the token mod API. For night vision, you'll be able to take your players from this to this with just the click of a button. And for those players who can't see in the dark, you'll be able to set up light sources like torches or campfires so that they'll be able to see too. Now, note that because we're using the API, this does require a pro subscription. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So let's start out with giving a player the ability to see in the dark. Maybe they're a dwarf who has dark vision, or maybe they're a space marine who has night vision goggles. Whatever the reason, they need to be able to see in the dark without a light source. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that we have the token mod script installed in our game. And token mod is available as part of the Roll20 script library, so you can just come in here, grab it from the drop-down list, load it up, and you'll be good to go. And quick shout out to the Aaron, who is the god of all things scripting for Roll20. He's the one who built token mod, and we really appreciate you, Aaron. Thank you very much. Okay, so now that we've got the script installed, let's take a look at what we need to do in order to get that night vision going. First and foremost, we need to make sure that dynamic lighting is enabled for whatever page we're on. So come in here to page settings and just make sure that dynamic lighting is on. Without that, none of this other stuff is going to work. So that looks good. So now let's take a look at the character that we want to give night vision to. And for that, I'm going to use this token right here. This is Sir Holiness McRighteous. He's a paladin. And the most important thing right now is to make sure that you actually have represents character set for whatever token that you want to give night vision to. And this is going to become very important in just a minute. But for right now, just make sure you've got your represents character field filled in for whatever character that you are setting up. Okay, so with that done, now what we're going to do is use token mod to adjust these dynamic lighting settings. Now we can go in and we could set these manually if we wanted to, but if you're setting up a new game in particular, going through and doing this for every one of your PCs gets very tedious very quickly. Uh, and if you ever wanna change things out on the fly, it's again tedious to come in here and open these settings up for every individual character. So let's use token mod to write a macro that's gonna do all this for us. All right, so I've got my trusty notepad window right here, and you can see I've already got the shell of the token mod macro set up. We're going to say exclamation point token dash mod, and then whatever we put in between these double curly braces is what will be applied to the token. So what we're going to start out with is dash dash set, which means we are going to set some properties for this token. And the first property that we're going to set is called bright underscore vision. And we're going to say bright underscore vision pipe on. And basically what that does is turns this setting on right here, which says that this token now has the ability to see. Okay, so that's step one. Now what we want to do is we want to give the token night vision. So for that, we're going to set a property called night underscore vision, and we're going to set that to on. Okay, so, so far so good. Next up is this night vision distance. Now the default to this is 30 feet which is about right for a lot of the races in D&D 5e. You get 30 feet night vision if you're an elf or a dwarf, but maybe you're a cleric of the Twilight Domain and you have night vision out to 300 feet, or maybe you're a deep gnome who has night vision out to 120 feet. Whatever it happens to be, you can say night underscore vision underscore distance, and then however far out it is. So let's give our paladin here 60 feet of night vision. Now. If you want to give the night vision a different tint color, so you want the character to see things shaded in red if they have infravision, or maybe you want them to see things in green if they're using night vision goggles, you can set that using this tint color. And the command for that in token mod is night underscore vision underscore tint pipe, and then the hex color that you want to set to. So if I want to use this red color here, that's this right here. I can just copy that and paste it in. If I wanted to use a different color, I would probably set it like this first and then come down and I could grab it out of here. And then there's also this night vision effect, which will apply like a, a dimming effect to the edges of the character's vision. 
Honestly, I really don't want to use that for this particular character. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that that is turned off. So I'm going to say night vision effect. And that's just going to be off like that. And then the last thing I'm going to set here is this default token value. And what this does is it says, take all these new settings that we've just applied and make this newly updated token with all these new settings, make that the default token for this character. And that's why I said earlier, you need to make sure that this represents character field is set because this is going to say, all right, from here on forward, Sir Holiness McRighteous's default token has all these vision settings applied to it. And that way, when you drag the character's token out onto a new map, all these night vision settings will already be there. You won't have to do this again. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to turn all these things off. So nothing's applied to this character at all. And I'm going to press Control L on the keyboard while they're highlighted. So right now they can't see anything. All right. So now I'm going to take all this stuff right here and I'm going to make a macro with it. You can see I've already set up the macro right here. It's called night vision setup. It's just all this same stuff just in as a macro. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to highlight Sir Holy Mick righteousness and I'm going to say night vision setup. You can see now he's got a red tint applied here. And if we control L, we can see he now has night vision. It's got that red tint. It's out to a distance of 60 feet and we're good to go. Now for those players who can't naturally see in the dark, we need to give them some other form of light source. And depending on the game that you're playing, this could come in the form of a torch or a campfire or a glowing computer screen. So let's see how we can make other objects radiate light. Now the setup for this is going to be a little bit different. For starters, we need to make sure that our characters token has vision turned on, but that's it. We don't want to give them night vision or anything else. So just have the default token for your PC have vision turned on. And then for the light source, what we're going to do is double click on that token. We're going to go to the dynamic lighting section here. We're not going to bother with the vision or the night vision. What we're really focused on are these emit light settings. So what we're going to create is a macro here that sets emits underscore bright underscore light. And we're going to set that to on and that's basically going to turn this on right here and we're going to set our bright light distance. So how far out does the bright light radiate from this object? The default here is 10 feet, but just like what we saw with night vision, you can have the distance custom to whatever you're doing. So I'm going to say bright light distance and I'm going to make that 15 feet. And then we're also going to have this emit low light because you think about it, you've got a campfire, it's very bright closer to it. And then the further away you go, the dimmer it gets. So we want to have kind of a dimming effect as we get further away from it. And so for that, we're going to say emits underscore low light. And we're going to set that to be on. And then the low light distance. Oh, well, let's say that'll be another 10 feet. So it would look ultimately like this is, is the settings that we are applying. So I'm going to cancel out of this. Uh, just like before, I'm going to copy all this. I'm going to make another macro here. I'm going to call it light source setup, paste in my stuff. Okay. And we'll save that. Now we'll highlight our fire here and I'm going to say light source setup. Okay. And now if we double click on this, we can see those emit light settings have been applied. And our character, if we control L them, they're not seeing with night vision now, they're seeing this specific light source. And as always, I'll put the code for these macros down in the video description so you all can grab them and put them into your own games. So there you have it. That's how you can set up night vision and light sources in Roll20 using the token mod API. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.